Austin and Director of Communications for the Dearborn Public Schools. It's great to be here during March's Reading Month to share some of our favorite stories with everyone out there. You know, I also want to thank Sleeping Bear Press. They gave, granted us permission to use their books during this month of March, during this videotaping of these books. So we want to thank them for cooperating and helping us out. Today, I've got a great book from Sleeping Bear Press called No Pirates Allowed said Library Lou. So this looks like a good one, doesn't it? Let's get into it and find out what it's all about. At Sea Breezy Library, things were just right. Book lovers were cozy, the sky was blue bright. When shiver me timbers through Sea Breezy's door, stormed big pirate Pete and his parrot, Igor. Where be the treasure? X marks the spot. We'll dig up the loot and steal all they've got. Squawk! Igor squawked as Pete muttered an arg. Then Big Pete let loose with a scary so thar. Chills ran down spines as those readers all shook. They hid behind bookshelves but ventured a look. And what was that odor? Disgusting! Phew! No one at Seabreezy knew what to do, except Library Lou, who dashed over to see what all the unruly commotion could be. May I help you? Lou said with a pinch of a frown. This is a library. Shh! Quiet down. Arrgh! Big Pete thundered. Don't waste me day. Walk the plank, saucy lass. Or show me the way. At Sea Breezy then, you could hear a pin drop. All that tough, rough and talk and squawk stopped. For Library Lou looked Pete right in the eye as Pete stood his ground with a snarl. Oh my. Minute by minute, their tempers both flared as they stood head to head and doggedly dared. Unless you be quiet and listen up too, no pirates allowed, said Library Lou. Squawk! Igor squawked with a blow me down glare. Then Library Lou boldly added, So there. Arr! Now, where is the treasure map? Lou asked. Ah, yes. The treasure is here, she said, just as I guessed. I'll help you find it, but first I must ask of you and your matey a wee smallish task. Go home, take a bath, change your underwear too, then come back tomorrow, said Library Lou. Arrgh! A landlubber telling Big Pete what to do, but she said there'll be treasure. Sink me, tis true. So, that night, Pete scrubbed 13 layers of dirt and decided clean underwear <laughs> couldn't hurt. Squawking Igor got a good scrubbing too, swooshed through the sea, sealed their funky P.U. Then later they dreamed of a treasure for two. The next day, they burst through the library door with a fresh soapy scent, but as loud as before. Mateys, your manners, said Library Lou. Now come follow me. We have much work to do. Aye. Big Pete grabbed his picks and his axe and his shovel. But Library Lou said, oh, don't go to the trouble. But lassie the loot, Lou said. Yet. 
first say ahoy to these letters, this fine alphabet. Letters, Pete scowled. They're more than an X. Lou spread them all out. Big Pete looked perplexed. Blimey, cried Pete. A code of old, a secret one, I to find the sweet gold. Library Lou grinned a witty wise grin. Brilliant, she cried. Now time to begin. Here they are, all of them. Pleased to meet you. Isn't this fun, said Library Lou. Fun, Pete snared. It be torture, no less. Me'd rather be kissing a fat treasure chest. So many letters, Pete got confused. W's, H's, S's, and Q's. Some she called vowels, A's, E's, I's, O's, and U's. Soon, Lou took some letters and mixed them about. Look, exclaimed Lou, words to sound out. Now here's a stack you may take home with you. Then come back tomorrow, said Library Lou. Up on the poop deck, Pete practiced that night. He practiced each word till he got each word right. Igor, he bragged. We'll hold riches untold, cause we be hard-working gluttons for gold. Yes, day after day, he went back, and night after night, Lou piled high a new stack. Soon, Big Pete was reading, not small words, but big. Pete got impatient. He'd work day and night, and still not a trinket or treasure in sight. One day, he barked at Lou. Do what ye told. Ye said ye'd be helping me find that sweet gold. Correct, answered Lou. In a book there's a clue. I've given my help. It's now up to you. Pete stared at those books, lined up shelf after shelf. A code, a clue, arg! Me find them meself. Maybe, just maybe, the code be in rhyme. He loved Mother Goose. Dr. Seuss, how sublime. They tickled his fancy, but no secret code. A vast, easy readers, he snatched frog and toad. Day after day, he went back, and night after night, he piled high a new stack. He found books called classics, great tales of the sea. Blimey, cried Big Pete, that's what the Kolu be. Treasure Island, me like it, but no clue to be found. Stumped Big Pete, scored each shelf up and down. Gangway, the nonfiction, there's where she be. Soon luscious loot, fancy free on the sea. Those factual books Big Pete came to love. He read about things that he'd never heard of. Stink bugs and baseball and surfing in Mars, dinosaurs, mummies, electric guitars. Big Pete's picks and his axe and his shovel got dusty. At pirating ways, Big Pete got a mite rusty. Now Pete wasn't a pirate just dreaming of loot, but a reader he was, and a good one to boot. When one book was finished, yes, when one was done, Pete picked up another. Oh, reading was fun. He read and he read and he read and he read, then one sudden night, Pete popped up in bed. The next day at Sea Breezy Library, things were just right. Book lovers were cozy. The sky was blue bright. When Big Pete and Igor tiptoed through the door, shh, and spied Library Lou in aisle 404. They both gave her hugs, each a kiss too. Arr, we've come to thank you, Miss Library Lou. Cause of ye, now we know. Books be the treasure. Shucks, whispered Lou. It's been my pleasure. Now Library Lou, with a smile big and proud, is hanging a sign that says, Pirates allowed. You know, that really is a great story because the treasure really is in reading. Not only in March, but all the time, throughout the year, anytime. Because books are filled with exciting adventures that can take you all over the place. And there's nothing better than just sitting and relaxing and enjoying a, your favorite story, whether it be about Big Pirate Pete or whatever you might interest you. 
So remember, we do a lot this month to encourage reading during the month of March, but really we want you to be reading all year long. It really, really is a treasure.